Today, the Mass is celebrated for your intentions and those who are following by salt and light. We also pray for you. Today, we celebrate our saint, Saint Mary of the Incarnation. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us go to Jesus in all humility to ask for mercy and pardon. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Kiri. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord, our God, who led St. Mary of the Incarnation to contemplate the wonder of the Trinity and fill her heart with apostolic zeal, grant that with her as our intercessor, and guide, we may live as witnesses to your love, so that those who come to know love and serve you may constantly grow in number. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Now during those days, when the disciples were increasing in number, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution of food. And the twelve called together the whole community of the disciples and said, It is not right that we should neglect the word of God in order to wait on tables. Therefore, friends, select from among yourselves seven men of good standing, full of the Spirit and of wisdom, whom we may appoint to this task, while we, for our part, will devote ourselves to prayer and to serving the Word. What they said pleased the whole community, and they chose Stephen, a man full of faith in the Holy Spirit, together with Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicolaus, a, con a convert of Antioch. They had these men stand before the apostles, who prayed and laid hands on them. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Rejoice in the Lord, all you righteous. Praise befits the upright. Praise the Lord with the lyre. Make melody to him with the harp of ten strings. For the word of the Lord is upright. And all his work is done in faithfulness. He loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of the steadfast love of the Lord. Truly the eye of the Lord is on those who fear him, on those who hope in his steadfast love to deliver their souls from death and to keep 
keep them alive in famine. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. After feeding the crowd, Jesus withdrew to the mountain by himself. When evening came, his disciples went down to the sea, got into a boat, and started across the sea to Capernaum. It was now dark, and Jesus had not yet come to them. The sea became rough because a strong wind was blowing. When they had rowed about five or six kilometers, they saw Jesus walking on the sea and coming near the boat, and they were terrified. But Jesus said to them, It is I, do not be afraid. Then they wanted to take him into the boat, and immediately the boat reached the land towards which they were going. The Gospel of the Lord. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sins. My dear friends, today we celebrate our Saint, Saint Mary of the Incarnation. And just briefly, just to go back, and the life of our saint, she was married, but it wasn't her intention to get married. She got married to please her dad. Three years after her marriage, her husband died. And then she began receiving revelations, divine revelations from Jesus about the incarnation, the sacred heart, and the blessed Trinity. Through a dream, she was led to the New World. She is interestingly the first female missionary in the New World. And she joined the Ursuline sisters and they came to Quebec and she went into education. But remarkably, she did a lot of reconciliatory work with the indigenous peoples before she died. She was able to write the catechism of the church in the Huron language and Algonquin language. And she wrote it, uh, the dictionary from French to Algonquin. So she was canonized in 2014. So this is the saint Jesus gives us. How is that linked to the gospel? At a time when there was strife with the indigenous peoples, her congregation called her back in France, and she said, no, she's going to stay to do recon reconciliatory work. So she did a lot of work with the indigenous peoples. We jump into the gospel. We see Jesus walking on the lake. He walking on the sea. He walks on the storm. He takes charge of the storm. He doesn't allow the storm to invade his life. He was fully in charge. And he shows us how to walk on the storm. In the same way, St. Mary of the Incarnation, she walked on the storm and she was able to bring peace with the indigenous peoples and the people residing then in Quebec. So in the same way, Jesus calls us to walk on the storm of our lives. But we only do that in Jesus. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Most merciful God, who were pleased to create and send Mary, the new man in your image, the old having passed away, graciously grant, we pray, that renewed like her, we may offer you the acceptable sacrifice of conciliation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord the bread of life, and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered 
into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her into the fullness of charity. Together with Pope Francis, Christian our Bishop, and his auxiliary, Louis, his auxiliary Ale. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, a spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, and today we pray the Our Father in the Mohawk language, the people of Ganawagi, Ngani and Geha. Dagwayana Negrani Yagi de Sidru, Aiza Sonaya, Aiza Wani Yastage, Aiza Rana Rakrage no Enzage, Zenio Zenit Gurni Yagi Yujarina Ragwa, Dagwanut Negawondi Yashinekwa, Nyadumizrage, Zakzak Nigunga Dugwa Gwaniganera, Zeniot Ninigret Dugwainito Stena Luketa Ningosata Nungwe, Dosa, Ayungosan Nigalinganera, A Gregor Ewasawi Neu Doxa, Itanayawa. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our days that by the light of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And Let us offer each other the sign of peace. of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. 
Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us all pray. By the power of this sacrament, Lord, we pray, lead us always in your love through the example of Saint Mary and bring to fulfillment the good work you have begun in us until the day of Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia.